Hold up, hold up, hold up. Someone I actually just noticed before I actually crashed out for the night. Um, there is a little bit of a news. Check this shit out. Um, Idola, the Fancy Star Online mobile game. It's not set in the um, the standard Fancy Star Online 2 future setting. Um, I think is it based around the episode 5 stuff that actually we're not going to see for another while yet. It is actually coming out to mobile in English, officially translated. As you can see, there is a beta actually off and running uh, that you can actually access through. Uh, if I recommend checking out, it's bump.org and there is a section on Idola announced this earlier on today and I'm only seeing it now myself and apparently the beta starts for August 5th so they're actually doing the beta today along with the episode 4 release and stuff so if you want to go and check this out I recommend jumping onto bump.org and going through the link here there's literally like a little link right there you can see it's in red and if you click on that that'll actually take you straight to the um the beta sign up page uh, on Google Play and then you can actually download the app I'm going to go and check out and see if I can find it for myself now but I thought <laughs> The, um, just before I crashed out after playing some Fall Guys, I thought this might be interesting news to share with other people. Go and look for it. Idola is coming in English. I'm shocked and surprised. I honestly thought PSO2 ES uh, was actually not going to get released at all. And by that proxy, I meant that they were going to kind of skip the whole mobile game thing. Because it's uh, probably that whole tie-in mobile game thing is not quite as a big thing for over here. But... I suppose with the success of PSO2 and with the success of NGS in the future um, and the fact that it's releasing on Steam literally today, um, I thought this might actually be goddamn surprisingly like a, a tie-in game that they were they were planning to do at some point, but didn't tie, want to tie it directly to the game's kind of like reward system. But um, Idola does actually provide some little uh, bits and pieces of items. This is probably the kind of prep for whenever episode 5 comes out so they can have another big announcement of a mobile game coming out. But they obviously have to test this beforehand. So go check it out. Have a try. I tried Idola myself whenever I was playing on the JP servers. I wasn't a fan of it compared to PSO2 ES. Um, mostly because it um, it's, in, it's a fantasy game more than it actually is. A fantasy with an F rather than a fantasy with a PH that I'm kind of used to with the, the sci-fi setting. But sure, why not? Um, it plays like any standard kind of like heroin gacha game. You get characters, they look badass whenever they fight, but uh, you're really wanting to find that gift version of them that has them a little less bad than the previous one for your triple S rares and all that kind of crack. Um, there's a couple of really good videos on these kind of games that you might want to check out from uh, Giguk and from Sea Dog and a couple of those kind of anime tubers because the, 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 this is what this is. It's an anime style uh, collector gacha game that's going to tie in with the other gacha game that we've been playing for fashion for the last couple of months. So uh, yeah, check out Idola. Uh, you can play it actually currently from the Japanese version as well because it has been translated from by PSO2 Tweaker people uh, in the past. So there is actually an app to translate that game. So feel free to check it out if you get the opportunity. But um, check out this beta. It's going on the 5th and the 10th. I don't think it's actually running for the entire time between. I think it's literally running for a specific times during those two days. So you might get a chance to have a little glimpse of the first few chapters of the game and give it a little try ahead of the time before you actually jump into the game much more later on, which I imagine is probably not going to be until the new year, but it's a good little snippet to check out. So uh, thank you very much for watching. That was a quick little bit of news, and I will see all you dudes in the next 24 hours for more ridiculous goddamn fancy stories because they just keep announcing it. This is, what this is what life is now. We just keep hearing news about these goddamn games and these goddamn from Sega. So, yeah. <laughs> what else can I say? Um, go check it out. See you guys in the next video. Bye.